new day, new start, new video. So stick around. It's going to get interesting. Well, good afternoon, good morning, good evening to you. This is Jay. We're going to bring it back to you. Today, we're going to do something a little different. What I'm going to do is for all you beginners that are starting out on YouTube, want to know the free sites that you can use to make thumbnails. Okay. I see a lot of places saying, oh, use these AI places for thumbnails and stuff. I used a lot of them. And guess what? I didn't like any one of them. So let's go to the action screen. Okay, let's get my face up on the cam. There we go. And let's put in a little bit of that. See, that is very simple. Okay, where we're going to start with is we're going to take and open up um, something that not a lot of people use. I don't hear nothing about it. And this is Microsoft's Paint 3D. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up a new screen. And we're going to take and get this to where you can see everything. Okay. There we go. So that way you can see what's going on. Because you got tabs up here. Oop, we forgot the big booty cursor. We better get that big booty cursor in there. Before everybody freaks out and says, Jay, where's the big booty cursor? <laughs> okay, well, just relax. We, see, we got it right here. Big booty cursor. Damn! Okay. Now, this is brand new canvas. This is... Same things you can do on some of the sites as well, but this is free. Microsoft gives this with Windows 10, Windows 11, <clears throat> absolutely free. And if you don't got it, then you can go to the Microsoft Store. Let's open up the Microsoft Store. And you can type in Windows paint 3d and it's right here there's an update to it hmm. see that's cool that they do that there's an update to it but you can get it right here I'll update it later no sense doing it right now okay now here's another bout all the free things in the world that you can ever think about. All the free things in the world you can think about are right here. Let's say if I want to look up uh, the RTX 5090, just to first say, and then images. I get all the images I want on the 5090 all the images I want see right here got a nice little image right here let's go ahead and right click save as and then let's I got mine in a template thing rename the template RTX 5090 dot PNG. It's a PM, PNG image. So you want to put that there so that way it shows up in your um, your Windows Explorer. So we save that. Okay, so now we can look for something else. 
to go with that. I always, I always look for something else that might catch an eye. You know, we could use this, but it's a little bit crooked. So I don't think we can use it for much. Um, let's see. We got that. We don't need that. I'm taking you through this. This might be a tutorial for you. It's like this one right here. You know, you can take this image right here and you can slap it on that. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and right click, save image as in your templates, put all files, backspace, rumors.png. Save it. Okay, now we save those two. All right. Now, let's do the diligence and go into our, te our template file. <laughs> okay, now we got our template file open. Now, what we can do is we can go to where it says templates. I got plenty of templates in here. I got a can of F off too. If y'all want that, let me know. I'll post it so you can take a pic of it. Um, let's see. Let's move this over a little bit more so that way y'all don't miss anything. Okay, so we're looking for the 5090 right here. So you want to left click, drag, drop. And you'll see lines going all the way through. You see all the lines going all the way through. Left click again. It locks it in place. So now this is locked into place. But now what we need to do is we need to get the rumors to put on this. So what we do is we're going to open up another Paint 3D. You can open up another Paint 3D, or you can go to um, right here. This might be easier way to do this with you. Right here, right click, edit with Paint 3D, and it automatically will open up a new Paint 3D. Okay, now we said we only want the rumor side. So we go to crop, right? We take it all the way to the rumor sign. Somebody asked me to do this, so I'm doing this to help my subscriber out and to help you all that's viewing. So hit done. So now we got this little thing here. This is where it's called Magic Select. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to hit Next. And now you see that it's highlighted around in blue. Hit Done. There it is. And we said we only needed that. So what we do is right-click, Copy, Minimize, Minimize, come over here, right click, paste. Wow, look at that. And if we want to make it 3D, we can hit make 3D. You can, it's basically everything you can do on Blender right here.
So basically, it's basically everything you can do on Blender. Boom. Locked in. Before you go to do anything else, before you go to do anything else on this, go to Menu, Save As, Image, Save, and go back to, let's say, your uh, template folder, and it says Untitled, Save As, RTX 5090 Rumors Template dot PNG there. and hit save. Now we go back into our folder, it's right here. So, what we need to do is hit the X, don't save because we don't want to take and transform the originals. We do not want to transform the originals. And go to this one we cut up, we hit X, don't save, and it leaves the originals the same. See, this is the original. It hasn't been touched. So as long as you don't save the on the original, it stays original. Like this one here, it's still original. This is the one that changed the original or the, the new transform. So you right click this, go to edit paint. Okay, now we're back into this. Now you want to go to canvas and change the width to 1024, hit enter. And then you want to take the height. So hard to do with this cursor. There it is. 576, enter. So now you want the width to be 1024 picks. And you want the height to be 576 picks. This is what YouTube requires you to have to put a thumbnail onto for your videos. So now I got this right here. I can open up and close D and go to my E, which I have all my, my I, set, I save everything onto my hard drive, a regular 7,200 RPM hard drive, okay? So, I have everything you can think of when it comes to this. I've saved for a year and a half all this new stuff. And I got my picks here. I got so many. So, I want this one right here. So, let's, let's do this. Since I know it's already here. This is the one I want. I'll make a new one for my thumbnails and sooner or later. So, boom. Come right here. Boom. So now I did a pick so you can... If you're not sure and you think your computer or you're going to have power issues, just hit save. This saves to the new one that you made. And if you want to decorate it even more, you can. But this right here, this just looks very simple and basic. And there you go. It says NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5090 rumors and i put my pick right there boom done that's it i mean you have let me go back to the main screen you have all free tools in front of you that you do not have to pay for nothing 
You have all the free art you want as long as you modify it and make it your own. Then you won't have any issues. So I modify the art, use whatever pieces I need, and make my own little art. I don't have the skill and training like everybody else. And I know there's some people out there that don't have the skill and training to get started. But this will help you get started. You have the free tool from Microsoft. Windows Paint 3D. You have Google Images. You have plenty of images to search through. And you have the, that tool right here on Paint 3D to pull certain images off to put them on to new images. So you can transform anything you want into making it your own thumbnail for your videos if that's what you need to do you can even go as far as you know taking your home pics and doing the same thing you know you can take home pictures take yourself off of them and paste yourself onto a new picture it's not hard believe it or not once i first started using paint 3d I was, uh, I was like blasted on how much that I can do with paint 3d. I was, I was blasted. I mean, it's not, it's not hard. I mean, to me, it's the simplest thing in the world to use compared to using Adobe express using all them other ones to where they, you know, is so much technical crap to that, uh, those other ones that they don't make it simple to use for your beginners. They make it simple to use for the advanced class, but they don't make it as simple to use for the beginners at all. Yeah, I still consider myself a beginner when I make my thumbnails. And yeah, there's plenty of things I can do with, you know, paint 3D. That's why I like using it. You know, if Microsoft added, you know, a little bit more of some things to it, like a little bit of art and stuff like that, that you can have like a little bit of a, a storage button to where you can add in art. I think that would help out even more to where you got pre-built thumbnails that you can put a folder right there and pull that and boom, it's right there right where you need it so or the the background thing be able to change the background automatically something like that so don't forget about your drinking snacks by the way but this is just a little idea and tutorial for you i know this might not mean much to people they might Say, well, you know, I can do it another way and a better way and this and that. Okay, go ahead and do it that way. I'm showing the beginners that you can do everything for free. I've been doing it like this for a year and three quarters on YouTube. I know my thumbnails are not the greatest. But I am the impiction I envision in my mind, I make my thumbnails. So, it is what it is. But soon as I'll be able to get myself a better background kind of thing, then I'll be able to put better background images behind what I'm trying to do. But we'll get there in time. We will get there. It's not an overnight thing. It's new ideas I'm thinking up. But for the new beginner, Paint 3D is going to be your best friend. If you don't want to get into all the hassles of other programs and putting other programs on your PC that's not warranted, you know, then do it this way. Look, I'm using ClipChamp from Microsoft. I'm using Paint 3D from Microsoft. 
None of them cost me anything. Nada. I don't have to pay for any one of the subscriptions or anything. It's a part of the programming. And also, too, you, if you got Windows 11, you got Copilot to help you with your thumb uh, description for your headers and your hashtags and your thumbnails, you know, stuff like that. Greatest thing in the world if you need help with your thumbnails, you know, um, getting a complete description. It'll help you out. So you have all the tools in front of you to be successful as a small creator here on YouTube. So this is my small gift to you all, to whoever sees this video. And I hope you all do see the video because this is the end of the video for now. If you need more help, let me know. Maybe I'll do a live stream on how to build thumbnails. Just, just to do it. Not a problem at all. But don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. Because if you subscribe and hit that notification bell, you'll be able to see when I post the next video. And also, too, don't forget to share with your friends and tell them to come down here and subscribe and watch the videos. Until the next time in the next video, this is Jay. We will see you on the next one.